What's going on fellas? In this video here I was attempting to get this new burner design running but I had a lot of trouble with the pump today. The pump that I'm using is not suitable for this job at all. It's a high flow pump and I'm trying to use it on settings where it's barely spinning at all. You can see here it's just going out of control. It goes from real slow to real fast. I can't keep that rotor spinning slow enough, so this is going to need a bypass valve. I thought I'd just give it a try for the heck of it. The combustion's looking good when the pump works, but we keep going from a dead stop to uh, sometimes up to a megawatt of power here. Like I gotta turn the pump on really high to get it going, and then sometimes it just wants to hover at 400 kilowatts, like right about there. So. And keeping that pump in one position is just impossible. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to have to wait till the pump that I ordered gets here. This is actually a G rotor hydraulic pump that I'm using. It's made for um, pressurizing oil for um, the actual nozzle types of waste oil burners. But um, we're not using that kind of pressure. So the flow rate's just way too high. And it's just more than we need right here for the testing. It's just bouncing all over the place. You should see the rotometer. It goes from zero up to like 0.8 liters per minute. Just kind of bouncing all over the place. But nonetheless, I did see some pretty promising combustion features when the pump is working, that is, which was a rarity in this test. It's just dousing too much fuel and a lot of that had to do with, I think there was some vapor lock taking place possibly inside the fuel line. But I'm not 100% sure of that. We're going to find out. This thing will definitely behave differently on waste oil. This is a diesel test, by the way. I'm testing this on diesel just to kind of see how it acts. Probably should have just went ahead with the waste oil. The pump might have been able to pump waste oil at a slower rate because it's thicker. But uh, yeah. It was a total failure due to this pump. I mean, it'll, it'll go for a second and then it just stops. It's just kind of toggling itself in between the lumps of the G rotor and it just gets stuck occasionally or it just wants to go too fast, like right there. It just runs away a little bit. And I can't burn that much fuel with the amount of air I'm testing on until things get heated up. So you can see it just goes up and down it won't stabilize. Kind of a big disappointment because this thing looks like it's going to work pretty good. Essentially what was happening is the fuel was fluctuating from nothing all the way up to 400 kilowatts there. This pump setup just isn't suitable for the test. I just thought I'd give it a try and see if we could run this pump that low. But the, the flow rate of this G rotor is just too high. Bit of an air leak there. So I'm gonna have to wait for the other fuel pump to arrive. This one, or I'm gonna have to build a bypass valve. Things ran great when the fuel supply was steady, but that fluctuation in fuel was just kind of botching everything. So it did seem like it had pretty good vortex action to it. This is a very inefficient configuration for the blower but this is all just about ease of fabrication I'm gonna end up doing a tangential connection as well I just wanted to see how well this worked out this fuel pump just ain't gonna cut it